to Young Audiences of Louisiana's Simply Arts video series. I'm Jenny Sargent, I'm a teaching artist at Young Audiences, and my art form is physical theater. Today we are doing a workshop called Emotions, Emojis, a physical theater workshop. Physical theater? What's physical theater? What's theater? Do you guys know what theater is? Hmm. Well, we're going to do some really fun games today. But before we get started, I want to make sure that you guys are ready. You're going to need uh, about three things. The first is just a space where you can move around. So make sure there's not too much stuff in the way, and especially that there's not stuff on the ground that you could trip over. The second thing is you're going to need a mirror somewhere in your house, somewhere where you could see your face. So think about it. And you could, if you need to set up some little stool or anything so that you could see your own face, you're going to get that ready in a second. Also, you're going to need somebody to take your picture. All right? Somebody in your house that has a cell phone with a camera who could take your picture a little bit later. All right? So before, you, uh, before we start, I'm going to give you guys a second to go make sure all that stuff is ready. And I'm going to make sure I'm ready. All right? Go for it. All right. Did you guys get all your stuff? You ready? It's almost time to start, but before we do a little warm-up to get our bodies awake and imagining, um, I want to make sure you guys know what theater is. Because most kids, they know what dance is, they know what music is, but sometimes kids don't really know what theater is. So what I say to kids is that theater is just an art form where we act stuff out. We use our faces and we use our bodies to act stuff out. But in physical theater, you use your bodies a lot. That's why it's called physical, because we move a lot. We use our bodies a lot to act out characters, to act out people. But we also act out really tall trees. We act out rocks. We act out animals. We act out like even like clouds. Things that are very, very, very different than our own body. And all of that is part of physical theater. All right? And I also want you guys to know the word emotion. You might already know what that word means, but let me just check. Do you guys know what it means? It's another word for feelings, right? Our emotions are the same as our feelings. And so we're going to explore uh, emotions and emojis and um, our feelings a little bit. And we're going to make some characters. So to do that, we got to get our bodies ready. You guys ready? All right. Uh, just one second. All right. Are you guys ready in your space? Make sure, make sure you can be safe if you move around, even if you're inside, move around a little bit safely, and when you think you've got a good space, follow me. You guys got to repeat after me. Ready? Hoo! Hoo! Yeah. Warm up your hands, and now warm up one arm. All the way up, <clears throat> warm up your other arm, all the way up, warm up one shoulder, warm up your other shoulder, and now go like this, hello, and I'm going to challenge you, switch your hands, switch your elbows, put which elbows on top, Whew. hello, do it again, Whew. hello, Whew. good job, warm up your chest, if you can make your voice do this. Good job. Warm up your back. Good job. Warm up your squishy, squishy stomach. And now make your stomach. 
Ça me prend des morceaux de Make it really squishy. Make it really muscle. Make it really squishy. Good job. Warm up your hips. Did you guys do that? Ready? Good job. Warm up one leg. See if you can balance. So go super slow. All the way down. And by now, you might be wondering, why are we tapping our whole body? Well, I'll tell you, our body really likes it. In fact, you have little nerve endings all over your body. You know about that if you were in first grade and you studied body systems, right? Part of our nervous system are all these little nerves that go all over our body. And when we tap, our brain remembers all the parts of our body again, and we feel more awake and ready to move. Uh, can you warm up your tippy toes? Warm up your tippy tippy fingers. Warm up the top of your tippy tippy head. Stretch, stretch up, 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 up. Stretch down, 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 down. Stretch middle, 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 middle. Stretch uh, big like a star, and now tip it. See if you can balance, tip it the other way, balance, good job, and now make your face, move all your face parts around like this, and now make your face really big, <sighs> your eyes and your mouth and your eyebrow, everything on your back, now we have all these small. Push, push in all your face parts and make a bag. I make a small I have a bag. I make a small and I'll make everything bad. I am really bad. to play a game. This is an emoji quiz game. Hmm. I wonder if you guys could win on my quiz. Do you guys know what emojis are? We use them on our phones, right? A lot. Kind of to tell people how we feel when we only use words, right? So I'm gonna, I printed out some text messages and some emojis that um, I sent to my friend Renee. So these are text messages that I sent to my friend Renee. She gave me permission to send her a million. But as you notice, the words are all the same. It says, hey Renee, is it okay to call you? But this guy is a smiley face, that guy's different, those guys are different. All of them are different emojis. Let me show you my favorite guy is this guy right there. I think he's hilarious. Okay. All right, you guys, so this is the game. This piece of paper is going to come up really close on your screen so that you guys can take a look at all of the different emojis. I'm gonna act out some and you guys have to guess which one I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna see if you can guess. Um, okay, ready? Hey Renee, is it okay if I call you? Okay, do you have a guess? So now look at it again. Which one was I doing? I was doing sad face. I was doing sad face. All right, one more. Ready? <laughs> um, okay. Hey 
okay, Renee? Is it okay if I call you? <laughs> okay, now guess. What's your guess? What's your guess? What's your guess? It's this guy, right? It's the mad face. He's so mad. Um, okay, let me try this one. Ready? Ready? Um. <laughs> Renee! Hey, Renee! <laughs> Is that okay if I call you? <laughs> Is double laughing guy. Did you guess it? All right. All right, now that you had a little warm up, now is the time we're gonna go to the mirror. I'll go first, and we're gonna see if we can make our faces into these emoji faces. Okay? It's kind of really fun. Okay, meet you in the bathroom. Okay, hi you guys, welcome to my bathroom. Um, so I have a chart here of a bunch of different emojis. And I'm going to show it to you up close. So, these are all different emotions. Sort of. They call this one happy. They say that's happy. They call this one ecstatic, which means like extra happy, but this to me looks more like regular happy to me. Um, they have the kissy face. They have this guy who is shocked. It says he's shocked. Um, let's see. Oh, they got this guy who's silly. They got... This guy who's sad, they got this guy who's disappointed. Okay, so now this is the game. I'm going to look at one of these emojis and I'm going to try to copy it in the mirror, all right? I'm going to do the one that I think is just happy, just regular happy. So, okay, he's got these two little pinchy eyes and he has a little smile. Disappointed. He his eyes are really down low and he has a little frowny face. Okay. Really low eyes and a frowny face. He's disappointed. One more. I'm going to do silly face. Okay, so silly face is kind of difficult. So silly face has one eye closed, one eye way open, and then a big smile with no teeth and a tongue that goes back. choose and then run to the mirror, you just have to keep the picture in your head, alright? You gotta focus on what are the eyebrows doing? 
What are the eyes doing? What is the mouth doing? And is, can you see teeth? Can you see a tongue? All right, and try to copy. Ready? Okay, here comes the picture. Choose your emoji and then go to the mirror. Okay, did you guys do it? How'd it go? I really wish I could see because I bet it was really funny and I hope you guys laughed. All right, so now it's step two of emoji emotion mirror game. Um, so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose those same three emoji feelings, but I'm going to think about it with, without their face in my mind. I'm going to think of the real feeling. And, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to look in the mirror and see what shape my face really is when I feel a certain emotion. And in order to do that, I have to think of something that made me feel happy, that made me feel disappointed, and that made me feel silly. Okay, so the first one, okay, I'm going to think of uh, a friend of mine who made me a present. He drew a picture because he couldn't see me, right? Because we can't see a lot of our friends. So he drew me a picture with some words and I didn't really understand what the words meant, but he made me a present. And it means he was thinking about me and it made me so happy. So I'm going to act out that emotion and I'm first not going to look at myself. Okay. And I'm going to imagine how it made me feel. And then I'm going to exaggerate it. That means I'm going to make it big so my body takes on a kind of pose. All right, so first I think of the feeling, and then I exaggerate it in my body. Hmm. And then I look at myself in the mirror and I try not to change my face. And that's my real happy face. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Now, second one was disappointed. That's when there's something that you want or you want to happen and it doesn't happen. For example, so my brothers sometimes are helping me right now to buy groceries because sometimes you don't want to go to the grocery store right now, right? So they got groceries for me and I asked them to get, I asked my brother to get mayonnaise. I really like mayonnaise. I really like mayonnaise, but I only like one particular special kind of mayonnaise and he got the wrong mayonnaise. But now I have to use up that whole mayonnaise. So when I saw the mayonnaise, I felt disappointed. So I'm going to think about that moment when I was like, oh great, new food, I get all this great food, I'm unpacking the grocery bag and then I... See the mayonnaise jar. Oh, I feel disappointed. Huh. Disappointed. Huh. Huh. That's interesting. I'm not so frowny, right? But my eyebrow's doing something. Disappointed. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. Third one. Silly, silly, silly. Okay. I'm going to think when I was playing with the dog that, I, that is in the house um, where I am staying. Um, okay. Uh, that's silly. For me, that's silly. Don't have the tongue, right? But it's kind of similar, right? Okay. So now... It's your turn. Will you guys try three real emotions? And if it's a lot to think about, just choose one. Choose one that you think would be fun to try, right? And I know there's a lot of sad emotions right now. 
There's a lot of ways we don't feel very good. But pick one that feels fun. Pick something that will crack you up, all right, and make you laugh, all right? Just one. And you're going to feel it, and then you're going to sneak a look at yourself in the mirror, and you're going to try to compare with one of those emojis and see if it's the same or see if it's a little bit different. All right, you ready? Go! Okay, you guys are back. Did you try? How did it go? I wish so much I could see. And I wish I could ask you what it felt like. Did it feel weird to like remember a, a, a feeling and then kind of act it out and then look at yourself acting? Does it feel kind of funny? Does it make you feel shy? Or was it sort of fun to see that like if you, if you think about something real, then it's kind of like you're acting it out. And if you can see the shapes in your face, then you might even be able to make those shapes, but not even have to feel a feeling. And that's kind of what physical theater is, is that we can move our bodies in ways that really look like strong feelings, but sometimes you don't have to actually feel the real feeling, because your body will tell the story by itself. So I have an idea that we're going to go play a game about, about putting emotions in our whole body, and then we're going to make characters with these interesting body positions. Okay? All right, come with me back into the living room. To my living room. Now we are going to put these emotions into our whole bodies. All right, double check your space. Good job. Now I'm going to go through my three emotions, which were happy, disappointed, and silly. Okay, it would be great if you guys tried these emotions too with me, but always you don't have to copy me exactly. Right? Try the idea, but put it into your body in your own way. Alright? So now, let's start together. Let's start with happy. Okay? We can all try to copy that happy emoji. Can you picture it? With the two little crinkled eyes and a smile. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Show me your happy emoji face. Oh! We're all so happy. Yeah. Great. Now imagine your own real happy feeling, right? You remember my story? You guys would have your own story. My happy story would make me put my body like this, right? Aww. But now we are going to exaggerate the emotion in our body. Exaggerate? What does that mean? Well, when it's, when it's something that happens in our body, it means we're going to make it bigger. Okay? We're going to exaggerate this idea in our body. Alright? So the regular happy is... <gasps> exaggerated happy is... <gasps> This is my exaggerated happy. What is your exaggerated happy? Right? Maybe it's like this. Maybe it's like this. Maybe it's like this. All right? Find your own exaggerated happy pose and make it um, on the count of three. Ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> Good job. All right. We now are going to do disappointed, right? Remember the little disappointed emoji? His eyes were really low and he had a frowny face like that. Now think of a real disappointed feeling. 
My feeling was about the mayonnaise. Don't laugh! Sometimes mayonnaise is very, very important to some people. You guys can think of your own story for disappointed. Maybe it's because you missed your favorite TV on the TV show on the TV, or maybe, um, ice cream. Maybe you didn't get the flavor ice cream you want. Ice cream is the same as mayonnaise to some people. Oh, so maybe you got, you wanted to get like strawberry, but somebody brought back vanilla. Make your little regular size disappointed body. Oh. Now exaggerate it. Oh, okay. And now find one exaggerated, disappointed pose. All right, last one, silly. Ready? Think of something when you feel silly. <laughs> I know, okay? A uh, silly emoji face was winky eye, tongue smile. Huh? My real silly feeling was like mm -hmm. <laughs> regular size, <laughs> exaggerated size. <laughs> Did you guys find your silly pose? Good job. All right. Now, before we move on, I want you guys to try your own emotion. One that I don't choose, one that you choose. Okay? Maybe it's the one you started, you tried in the mirror by yourself. All right, so now think of the emoji picture. Do you guys want to do the playful guy with his tongue out? The shocked guy with really big eyes? The sad guy with a tear? Just find, find the emoji face first of your own special emoji. Got it in your face? Now think of that emotion that you know in your body and make a small pose. Small angry, small playful, small sad. And now exaggerate it. And what happens to your body? Do you get big? Do you get extra small? Do you get extra uh, wide? Do you get extra floppy? Do you get extra tense? And now choose your own pose on the count of three. Three, two, one. All right, good job. So now we have four choices. We have the three that I tried and then you have your own one. Now, this is going to be our last game, all right? You got to think of your favorite body pose. Think of your favorite one. And we are going to make a character out of this exaggerated body. It's going to go like this. First, you just take your pose as exaggerated as you can. The pose that I like the best, I think, is my happy pose. I just love how twisted up it is. All right, so I'm going to take my exaggerated happy pose, but you guys take your own favorite. All right, so you feel your extra, extra happy emotion, but you guys choose your own, make it really, really big, and then go like this. <laughs> and wipe away the actual feeling. But keep your body. Keep the shape of this body. And now, just kind of settle into this funny body. Because now, 
this body can be a whole person. It can be like a character and a story. And this character has a special way of moving because they have this special body. Maybe because my body is so twisted up, maybe my voice would be twisted too. Maybe I have a facial expression that would go with this body. It doesn't have to be happy because my character can feel all kinds of different emotions. My character can feel sad <gasps> or silly. <laughs> Alright, move around as this exaggerated character, right? Yours will be different than mine. Maybe yours is up here. If you were really happy, but your happy was like this. And so your character would have a different way of moving, a different way of waving to their friend, a different way of um, uh, eating macaroni or Cheerios. All right, figure out how your character would pick something up off the ground. Maybe this character would pick it up like this. But maybe this character would pick it up, ooh, like this. Whoa. All right, try your own way. And then once you get a kind of feeling for this character, I'm going to ask you guys to get your picture-taking person to take a picture of you in your character pose. All right? So now you can uh, go get your person. You can pause the video if you want to. Go get your person to take the picture. Ready? Go ahead. All right, you guys have your picture taking person ready? All right, so now take your big exaggerated pose. I'm gonna take my twisted up pose. You can walk around for a little, find a, find a good character pose that might be different than the first pose. And now choose an expression to have on your face. And now you can pose for the camera. Ready, three, two, one. All right, all right, my friends, so now we're almost finished. Take a little peek at the pose, at the picture, right? Make sure you've got your whole legs in it so you can see your whole character, okay? If you need to do it over, you can pause for a second. Do a second picture that you're happy with, and then I'm going to leave you with that picture. I would like you guys to look at it, and I wonder if you could create a name for this character. I wonder if you could imagine a world for that character. What kind of world do they live in? What are they doing in that moment? Are they a kind of troll creature? Are they a kind of giant creature? Are they a regular person, but they just are a little bit floppier than normal people? And where do they live? What is their life like? And once all those ideas start to come to you, you might be able to tell a story about them. And that will be the beginning of a physical theater play. All right? So before we go, I'm going to just remind you of these four vocabulary words that we've been using all throughout this workshop. These are your four amazing vocabulary words from our workshop. The first one is theater. That's what we've been doing. Theater is the art form where you act things out. You act out characters, you act out feelings, and you act out stories. Right here is our second word. It is emotions. Emotions are the same as feelings. This one is pose. 
A pose is a frozen body position. This is exaggerate, right? That's what we were doing in our bodies when we made them bigger. So to exaggerate is to make something bigger or more exciting. All right, everybody, we are at the end of our workshop. Thank you so much for playing with me today, for experimenting with new ideas in your body, for experimenting with ideas in your imaginations. I hope it was fun for you. Uh, be sure to follow Young Audiences in order to stay informed about upcoming videos and other programming. I hope to see you soon, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.